today we're going to be looking at a hunter build that lets you be invisible pretty much all the time. I know this build isn't new, it has been done before, but this is my take on it. I wanted to have it up on the channel and maybe it's going to be a little different. So we're going to start with the subclass. We need Trapper's Ambush because we'll be using Omnioculus and Vanishing Step. The cool thing about Trapper's Ambush is it gives you Shadow Dive or Quick Fall as it calls it and you can uh, go invisible for longer if you use it that uh, use that ability you can make enemies weakened for longer and it's a bigger radius as well so it's better than using your smoke bomb in almost in pretty much every way vanishing step crucial just go invisible vertex grenades and gambler's dodge is very important so we can get our smoke bombs back so we only get three fragments unfortunately but I went with Echo of Persistence, that's a given, so that our invisibility lasts longer. Then I got Echo of Provision, so that our grenade can give us melee energy just by doing damage. And that just helps, you know, the smoke bombs and everything. And lastly, Echo of Remnants, just so that the grenade lasts longer and therefore gives us more melee energy. But there's probably other combinations that you can do with Fragments but that's what I enjoyed using. And now for mods, it's kind of simple. We got Reaping Wellmaker to make Void Wells, right? Then we got two Well of Utility mods so that they give us extra class ability energy. And that's going to help a lot getting our dodge back. Here in the Gauntlets, I put Bowstring Detonation so that now our grenade not only gives us melee energy, but also class ability energy just by doing damage. I got Bountiful Wells so that double up on the Void Wells whenever I make them and therefore more class ability energy, more everything. And then I got Elemental Ordnance and this one is the one that you can change and make it your own. But first, Utility Kickstart, pretty important, gives you a, a class ability energy. Distribution helps just all your ability cooldowns when you dodge your enemies and therefore helping our grenade a little bit and our melee. And now here, if you want more wells and more abilities, uh, more ability energy, Elemental Warness is the way to go. If not, you can do Fanta Mai for damage or Fanta Wisdom if you want your super. You can even do High Energy Fire uh, if you want a more consistent uh, buff to weapon damage. And then you replace Bountiful Wells with Elemental Charge. And that's it. I mean, Omnioculus gives you two smoke bombs, gives you damage resist when you're invisible, 50% might I add. So being invisible is very safe. Uh, the trick to this build is how you use your abilities and the timing mostly. It's not really about the mods and everything. So I'm gonna have some gameplay here and I'm gonna try to explain what's going on as it goes so you can understand how to best use this build. So the gameplay is just from regular Heist Battlegrounds and I'm going to try to be as clear as I can possibly be. So for the combo of invisibility to work, you want to use your Shadow Dive, giving you 9 seconds of invisibility. And before the timer runs out, you use your Dodge while still invisible, because it refreshes your invis to 9 seconds instead of the 7 seconds from Vanishing Step. So here you can see how often I'm able to shadow dive, debuff enemies, throw a grenade, dodge, it's all sorts of mayhem. So basically you want to dodge always near an enemy so that you can get a smoke back every time. You want to use your shadow dive to debuff enemies to make them easier to kill. That way you're also going invisible. And also it does damage to them, so adds sometimes even die to just the shadow dive and it's beautiful. The thing you need to learn is just the timing of shoot, go invisible, is basically the combo you want to go with. You can throw your grenade, dodge, and it's immediately one after the other. That way you can do damage and be out of sight before the enemies can even shoot you. And that just takes some practice, it's not too difficult, anybody can learn that. It's just timing, shoot, 
dodge or shoe smoke bomb, shoe shadow dive or throw a grenade, whatever. You, I think you get it. And you're just going to be creating wells as you dodge and kill enemies using this. And then those wells are going to recharge your, your uh, class ability and other, uh, other abilities. And that's essentially it. But the combo to keep in mind to stay invisible as long as possible is shadow dive and then use your dodge before the timer runs out to refresh it to 9 seconds and make sure you dodge near an enemy so that you get a whole smoke bomb back and you can keep this going because you're gonna get your uh, your dodge back before it runs out again the invisibility runs out again I hope this makes sense I hope it's helpful if not comment down below I, uh, with any questions I will be sure to answer them thank you for watching if you watched this far and I will see you in the next one